Hello, everybody. Welcome, my brother, my brother, and me, and in my show for the modern era, I'm your oldest brother, Justin McElroy. I am your middlest brother, Travis McElroy. I'm your sweet baby brother, and 30 under 30 media luminary. I haven't said that in Walker from McElroy, but it's still true. Guys, I'm so excited. Uh, folks at home, you're going to be so excited. We got a special guest with us this week. Yeah, You'll please. never believe it. It's the My Brother, My Brother, and Me fall time prize mummy. What? Oh, the prize mummy's back. Juice, remember the prize mummy? The, the fall time prize, prize mummy. mummy. Yeah. yeah. The prize mummy. We did him back in what, 2012? <laughs> yeah. I do not. Re- I have. No memory of the, the things prize, you're saying. We did Prize Mummy in 2012, 2013. I think that was the last one. We changed up the rules each time. Like one, you had to rip a bandage off, and however much you got uh-huh. off, you got that much back in <laughs> That's right. uh, store credit. I mean, it sounds goods. funny. I'm wild about it, it over was, yeah, here. It was fuck. It was funny Justin, as fuck, and it's uh, only going to be funnier. He used to be uh, the Halloween Prize Mummy. And then yeah. we did some focus testing, and we that wasn't playing super well with our Christian base. So no. he became the fall time prize mummy. That right. might be why you don't remember him right away. But he's back. He's here, sitting next to me, very close. Um, that very focus close. group also said they preferred the mummy to be dead like a historical in a museum dead mummy and didn't yeah. get up and move around. But at that point, what's the game? Like if you're not chasing the mummy down, trying to rip off its precious expensive bandages that you can trade in for store credit at Dick's Sporting Goods. Like what's the fucking point? Um, mm. And and I should, it's been a little while. Um, the mummy has asked if, if he could share some of his <sighs> political opinions. Oh, um, and yeah, and, I, and uh, he can't speak to air those opinions out, right? Right. Uh, right. If he does try scarabs fly out of his mouth, oh, uh, right. which is rather unpleasant. So I'd rather he I guess just interpret that. them for us, Trav, and maybe clean them up a little bit. I'm going to try to. Okay, so okay. He's, he's holding up a sign here. Okay, well, that's interesting. On this one, he's, just, he's, right, he's written that women should get the vote. Oh, okay. mommy. Oh, oh, my God, prize mommy. Yeah, no, that's yeah, we did that. We did that. Well, and he we just, did, he's we... underlining an ex, like exclamation point exclamation. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, he's crossing it out. Oh. 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 Wait. Oh. What's that mean then? He's now just nodding slowly. Oh no. <laughs> oh, prize mummy. I don't hey. feel like any prizes have even been exchanged at this point. No, he's kind of holding them hostage at this point. He's got them all tucked behind him, and he's holding a finger out at me and waggling it and pointing at his dry erase board. Trev, can you sneak a peek? Can you uh, sneak yeah, a let peek me see. at the prizes? What do we got? Oh, it's a, huh. It's a lot of cans without labels. <laughs> <laughs> can you ask him where he got those from? Yeah, let me, hold on. Prize, prize, mummy, prize mummy, I've already seen that it's cans. Where did you get the can? Okay, you're shrugging. You can't shrug. You got the cans from somewhere. Where did he, He's doing like a, I'll never tell. I'm a little stinker kind of thing. Prize mummy, where did you get the cans? I think, Trav, maybe the more important question is where did you get the prize mummy? Yeah, where did you find the prize mummy? Because as I understand it, He's apparently been idle for a few years. Yeah, well, no, this isn't this isn't the original prize mummy. The original prize mummy is working in L.A. now. This okay. oh, I got okay. this I got this prize mummy off of Cincinnati Craigslist. Uh, but he told me he is a certified prize mummy with right. the guild. Yeah, he told you that. And what did you? What did that ch- uh, exchange look like when you? I'm guessing rented a you know a budget truck to pick up. Yeah. Did it come with a sarcophagus? Um, of sorts, it was okay. um mostly. Can I be honest? Yeah, it it was uh it was just an old Foot Locker that he was a in store, like the store. You no, bought a Griffin, foot, tell you bought a Foot Locker at an old mall, and then yes. you know, there was just a mummy inside. Now hold well, on. Well, no, okay, I can see the confusion. I did not buy the Foot Locker shoe store, but I did buy an old chest, a Foot Locker at a mall. Okay. Um, and he was inside of there reading a book. Mm. Okay. And the book was Men Are From Mars and Women Are From Venus, which was weird. That is weird. And so I think Mummy in the Foot Locker is a really good episode of Are You Afraid of the Dark? Uh-huh. 
I think that would be good. And he could do, we could do a fun bit where like he is wearing Air Jordans. And, was like, he buried in the Foot Locker? So maybe he was buried in the box at the store. Is <laughs> can, that right? Can you ask when he was mummified? Because it's starting to yeah. sound like the answer might be like 1979. Let me ask. When were you mummified? Last week? Last okay. week. Okay. Okay, that's not a mummy. That's, that's not a, a mummy dead no. person. That's a dead body. That's that, a, it's just a dead body. Okay, well, get out of here. Um, you can, but whoa, yeah, whoa, you whoa, can... wait, 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 wait. Let's find out what these prizes are, though, before we go yeah, kicking this thank you. cadaver out. Well, okay. one can, at least. Can I open a can? He's Okay, he's carefully picking which can. How, how do you know what they are? There's no labels. Oh, okay, this one? I should open this one? Okay, let me open this one. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. It's, huh, it's alphabet soup. Oh. Okay, but it's, oh, all the words are dirty words. It's just spelling out dirty oh. words over and Wait, over. He's how giggling. Is it, how is that possible? Yeah. I don't know. But no, no you no, do know no, you're you there. Do know. You're being- <laughs> well, it's just every time I shake the can a little bit, the letters that float to the top are saying like poopy butt kind of thing. So, so it's like a magic eight ball, of, but it's yeah. soup. Soup? Yeah. Oh, he's casting a spell. Um. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. Oh no! Sorry, it's just a card trick. Sorry, I I misunderstood what he was doing. Oh, it's pretty. Good. Yeah, that is my card. Wait. Oh. Oh man, Trav, you really had us going with this prize mummy thing, but I feel like the last couple seconds have really been a yeah. Just I think we understand now what this is. Bit. Well, he like left. It's one of your fake. If I'm being honest, he left as soon as I started bits. asking questions about the cans. Yeah. He got okay. he got pretty squarely, uh, and he left. So I I was covering for that because I didn't want you guys to know that he's loose. Um, and I'm sorry about that world. I set him free from the Foot Locker in the Foot Locker. And now the prize on me could be coming to your town today. So he could be anywhere at this point. Yeah. Do you think Brendan knows whenever this happens? Well, he gets to- a call from the government, doesn't he? Okay, yeah, sure. Should we have asked him to do this bit with us? Brent Fraser? It feels intentional now, doesn't it? It does a little bit. Yeah. To not to to keep him out. Fuck! Like I would that. love to get Brendan Fraser on the show. Fuck! I would love to do that. God, I'd love wow, it. Wow, that would be cool. He doesn't have to talk about the movie. No, yeah. unless he wants to. If he wants to, of course. He doesn't have of to course. talk. He doesn't have to talk about the mummy. He just has to vanquish the Cincinnati mummy that Travis is uh, now just let loose upon the world. Yeah, and I I said I was sorry. I, if anybody knows Brendan. <laughs> That never works. But if you if you do know Brennan personally, I'd love to get him on the show just to talk. There, I feel like there's so much we could talk about. Uh, I'll talk to him about Blast from the Past. Sure, I'll talk absolutely. to him uh, about his his arc on Scrubs, which was really good. Oh, uh, he's great on Scrubs. George of the Jungle. When Gods he was... and Monsters? Are you kidding me? Come on. What a talent. I Flash! love Brennan. Doom Squad. Anyway. This is my brother, my brother. Encino Man. Yeah. (laughs) You know, Encino Man set up a big sequel. The big sequel on Encino Man that they never paid off. And I'm still a little chuffed, a little chafed. Admit you Googled Bedazzled. There's no way you remember. Actually, no one uh, remembers the existence of Bedazzled. You you tell me you Googled it. That was Bedazzled with Elizabeth Hurley was also in the film. A remake of the Dudley Moore one. Maybe me and Travis are just big bedazzle heads. Yeah. 